Coach Gaz here with the Juggernaut Thought. Uh, oh, look at that. My thought is I should probably fix my collar up. As I trip over something. Um, so, I've been working on my values for the year, uh, and well, not for the year, just in general, and just reaffirming them, getting some clarity. It's a good way to start the year, actually, and, and uh, help guide you for the actions and uh, the decisions that you'll make throughout the year. And action is probably the key word because you, a lot of times in business, when people are starting out in business, everyone always talks about you know setting your plan and, and setting your core values. And um, a lot of people can struggle with that, not that they don't have any values, but they just struggle to put them into words. And the problem in this, and the step I think a lot of people skip is that they don't put those values into verbs. They don't express them as verbs. They don't express them as actions. And if you don't have your values expressed as actions, then how can you guide your actions throughout the year? You know, and there's a saying that goes, uh, for evil to triumph, the good have to do nothing. Uh, and that's the same thing. You have the best intentions, but if you do nothing, then of course evil is going to triumph. When you're looking at uh, employees, they can have the best attitude, you know, and, and people will uh, be hired because they have a great attitude. But if they don't follow up that attitude with positive action, then their attitude doesn't matter for anything. It has to be backed up with action. So when you're looking at your values, when you're looking at things that you hold dear and want to guide your you through life and through your year, think about how you can express them and write them down and clarify them as actions. This is Coach Gaz with the Juggernaut Thought. I hope you have a great, actionable day that leads into a wonderful year. Cheers.